All right, this is uh, Freddie Funes with uh, Shadowsoft here, and I have Rob, the lead developer for Security Blanket. And this is going to be uh, the 10,000 foot overview of Security Blanket. Uh, Security Blanket is an OS, Linux, Solaris, IBM System Z for Red Hat and to say hardening tool. And it's licensed two different ways. One is the standalone edition, which is one license for one server, regardless of its physical or virtual, and then we have an enterprise edition, which consists of an admin console, which we're looking at here, and then that manages a whole host of other clients. Okay. Um, at its most basic, Security Blanket is um, a, a toolbox of modules um, that you can then put together uh, for different uh, security profiles. Uh, a module can consist of, for an example, uh, password links, okay? And so you can go in there and let me show you what a profile looks like quickly. This is for the RHEL 5 STIGs. These are the modules that make up the RHEL 5 STIGs. Right now, they're only, uh, you can only see um, the settings because this is a stock profile. But you do have the ability in Security Blanket to go in there and you can customize these, you can copy them, you can take out modules, you can create a new profile. Um, you can really do a lot of different things with these profiles. Um, from there, um, it is, um, you can do a lot of other things with this where you can compare um, a stock profile to uh, one that you just uh, created or you can compare uh, profiles that uh, you've created, one against another. Uh, you can edit them. There's a lot of different tools within Security Blanket where you can do that. Um, from there, the clients, um, it has a small agent process and they communicate TLS, PKI, okay? And the clients can be associated in groups. Uh, it's based on a group sharing a profile. So this is what I'm just going to show you these are clients here. From there, you can go ahead and group them in different ways. And you can say, I want to um, look at what this uh, group looks like. And then these are two clients that make up this group. And it's just really easy to go ahead and use this. You can take them out. You can put it back in however you'd like, update the group. And there's different text in there that you can fill out. Um, so from here, you can do, um, the first thing that we always recommend is that you do a baseline. The baseline is a snapshot of the moment in time right there, what that server looks like, what that client looks like. From there, you will do a scan assessment. Uh, from the scan assessment, it's going to show you if you're uh, trying to harden to PCI, um, what you need to do, what's, what's wrong with this one server. Uh, why is it not PCI compliant? It's going to show you. Um, then there's also an apply where you'll go in there and you'll hit apply and it's going to make the necessary changes uh, that's called out for in the, in the modules and make changes to your actual server there. Uh, we also have a nice little undo function which will just undo the last apply. Okay, And then um, there's a lot of great reporting capabilities within Security Blanket here where you can do um, you can look at reports for baselines. You can compare the baseline. That's going to show you the drift um, over time. Um, you can also do assessments, right, the scan assessments. You can compare the assessments if you'd like. Um, there's applies. There's reports for undos if you've ever done that. Uh, a group assessment will take that whole group and say, um, you know, what are the failures, what has passed here. It's a nice way of looking at all of your clients in that one group at one time. Um, there's also group assets, and that's just going to list, um, you know, all the information for that server there in that group. So it's going to give you uh, OS version. It's going to give you the security blanket version that's installed on those servers, um, contact information there for, um, uh, for the different servers. You have audit logs there for the console and for the uh, actual client. And then there is a scheduler piece here for security blanket. And that, um, where you can go ahead and select a group, and then you can select it to uh, do uh, an event either every month or once a week or every day at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
and you can add different action items here. You can say, always do a baseline first, and a scan, then an apply, and then a scan, save it. You can do other groups from there. Um, you can customize this, of course. You don't always have to do that. You can change your actions here. Um, and then you have uh, RBAC controls here with security blanket, and that's really it. I do want to mention that for the reporting there, the capabilities in there is um, the format is XM, XML format, and the schemas are provided um, for you so you can make custom XLTs. And that is the overview of Security Blanket. And definitely, if you're interested, take a look at our longer, um, that goes more in depth uh, video about Security Blanket. And then from there, uh, you can even do a trial, one week trial for Security Blanket. Thank you.